हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार फाउंडर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब हियर टू गेट ऑल द अपकमिंग अपडेट्स इनोवेशन एंड सच काइंड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्चुअल वीडियोज थैंक यू सो लेट्स लर्न हाउ टू राइट एक्स पाथ बेस्ड ऑन नॉट मैचिंग वैल्यू ऑफ एट्रीब्यूट और टेक्स्ट लाइक वी वी हैव जनरली सीन राइडिंग एक्स पाथ एंड जनरली वी यूज टू राइट एक्स पाथ लेट्स ए for uh, on this page generally how we write the x path we write like double forward slash tag name and then at the rate attribute is equal to attribute value right so here if we have to write x path so here uh, okay one more thing like if you see that selector sub here it is not showing auto generated because i have turned it turned it off from here if you want to see auto generated you can turn it on so i have kept it off kept it off just to use it as a editor mode <coughs> Okay, so here if we type here double forward slash input and that at the rate class is equal to this value. So this is how we used to write the x path for uh, an element. So which is like here we are comparing like get all the input which has the class is equal to this value like g l f whatever value is this one. Now suppose you ask that get me all the input in this page. Which doesn't have class equal to this value means that input uh, that input will not have the class equal to this value. So there are two methods in X path which you can use to write uh, X path without uh, like X path for which this class will not be having this value. <clears throat> so which means like. <laughs> you can use not function like not and another one is this exclamatory mark one so either you can use this or this if you want to get all the input which are not having class equal to this value <coughs> okay so let's do this one type here exclamatory mark now this will give us all the inputs which are not having class is equal to this whatever value is this one okay so if it hit enter it is returning four elements matching okay now if we use this not function here oh it is returning eight elements matching while that was returning four elements matching but both are not considering that element which is having class is equal to this value glf fyf gl fyf gs fy whatever value is this one okay so both the x path have filled our condition fulfilled our condition that return us that input those input which is not having this class value okay fine so we got the result matching nodes without this class value but why we are getting four elements matching for this not and why we are getting eight matching node for <coughs> this not function what is the difference okay so let's understand what is the difference between both of them so when you have used this not function when we use this not function what it is doing it is looking for only for this condition that in the element in the input tag class should not be equal to this value and remove that input from the matching nodes but it will consider those input as well which doesn't have the class it will not uh, it will just look for that that in that element class should not be this that's all doesn't matter whether that element has the class or not so like if you <coughs> expand here like first element is having class second has class third has class fourth has class but this fifth one doesn't have class attribute this one doesn't have class attribute this one doesn't have class attribute likewise this doesn't have class so 
if you will use this not it will not look for the attribute presence it will just look for that condition that if this condition is not satisfied then give us that as a matching node but here if you use this not it will return only those input which has the class and value will not be this one so it will basically look for two condition first that class should be there and class value should not be this one <clears throat> now you see that it has written four this has class this has class this has class this has class only one input it has not written which is having this class value so when you use this exclamatory mark one this returns this consider the attribute or text presents like if you are writing x path with text so then it will consider the text presents so <laughs> this not this exclamatory mark consider the attribute presents as well while if you have returned the not here use this not function then it doesn't consider the attribute presence it just consider that condition what you are uh, looking for so here not function when you are using not not doesn't consider the attribute or text presence while if you use exclamatory mark not equal function then that consider the attribute and text presence like i have given the example for attribute similar same thing works for the text as well similar concept okay so let's un understand this in more detail like how does this work in xpath why <laughs> it is showing four and that is showing eight okay theoretically we understood that when we use not that doesn't uh, consider the attribute presence but when we use this not equal it is considering that how like functionally how it is working in the background let's understand <clears throat> So when you have written here double forward slash input and then you added this at the rate class. So generally like okay generally when you write x path how your x path used to work x path basically is like when we when you when we write x path it is like we are keep on adding the conditions this is first condition that like let's replace this one this is first condition in our x path like double forward slash tag name is the very first condition that find out all the input in this page okay now we are going to add more condition in this like find out <laughs> all the input which has the class attribute when you write at the rate attribute name that is basically you are looking for all those tags which has that particular attribute so here we are looking for all the input which has the class so first we have got the input now we have added one more condition this is like one more condition if you hit enter it is returning five elements five input which has the class attribute now we want to add more condition so we will add one more condition that look for those elements like out of these five look for that element which doesn't have this class at value so if you hit enter it will remove that one which has that value and if you make it equal then of course it will one one element matching so this is how x path works similarly like now let's understand why for not that not function this one so when we have written this not function so how it will work and how it will give us eight matching node so it's very simple like if you remove this one hit enter nine elements matching okay now we added adding condition here this uh, the condition that, that is the basically complete condition here that not we have initially itself we have added the not okay and then we are saying that it should not have basically inside this parenthesis we are passing one condition so we are saying that get us all the input which is not having this condition which doesn't fulfill this condition class is equal to this one so basically all the inputs which it will just remove that input which is having the class equal to this value and rest it will give because 
this input is also fulfilling this condition because this doesn't have class equal to this value this also fulfilling because this doesn't have class equal to this value so basically here this is the first condition this is here we have used this not function and then we are passing the condition that it should not fulfill this condition then uh, give us the result so here it will show eight matching matching nodes so this is how this not function works in xpath in case of xpath and also you understood that how xpath works like when you write the xpath in the background so this is very good and very important concept in xpath and there are like lot more such concepts in xpath which you can uh, if you want you can learn from me here uh, i have started recently started the training as well on xpath like on all such these, these deep concepts like writing xpath based on attribute presence how those things work in sensitive important info and all those things like so if you want to learn each and everything about this such kind of concepts so uh, do join my training i will uh, share the training link here in the description also i'm preparing the course as well so you will get the course link as well in the description so uh, please register for the training and learn all such concepts xpath and css selectors locators these are very very important concepts our automation is script advanced automation almost like 90 percent depends on locators and whenever scripts used to break that breaks because of uh, selectors uh, only locators only so this knowledge is really really required so do register you will get all the training details and everything on the registration link page fee details and everything so please do check out this is really really useful you will learn all deep concepts about setodom svg iframe nested iframe selenium for relative locators and all those stuff test case studio how you can improve the productivity so all this will really help you guys a lot so with that thank you so much guys thank you for watching i would request you if you haven't liked the video please like and share this and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming updates and please share selectors of let everyone know about such kind of good concepts about xpath thank you thank you so much Bye-bye.